just going to do a catch up and stuff we've been doing. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> stuff we've been doing the last few times we've been down. So started building shelving. But Kev's nicely angled it. So it sits under. It's all got to be fixed yet. And boxing in. Just move that. For the pipe work going down. Really nice job. All fits all around the radiator pipes goes all the way down that goes all the way down to our bedroom um started putting the edging strip on which has still got to be painted um we have some blinds up which makes it look a lot better started putting those up down this end um not loads to be done down this end obviously we need flooring and everything in here so there's the box and then just going around the corner because these pipes weren't in here weren't straight so it's got a joint so it's done it nice job um, and we spent yesterday in the bedroom not in that way <laughs> but look how bright it is this is so the ceiling's had its first well, it's had its, that's the second coat. It's his first coat of colour. Uh, started on the walls. But look how much brighter it is in here. It's like a totally different room like this. It's surprising. I've just come back in to see it now. And it's quite surprising how bright it all looks. Still got a bit of work to do on it yet. A little way from it yet. We'll get there. So, that's it. So, we will catch you later. Bye. I'm on my own today. Kev's going off to work. He's dropped me off here. Look, he's just going. <laughs> yeah, he's gone to work. I'm here on my own for the very first time. I know I've got lots to do. Um, I'm going to start giving the nun to coat, rub these down and start giving them to coat to these. I've got the second coat in the, no, second and third coat on places in the bedroom to do. Um, edging strips to paint. I've got more than enough to keep me quiet. I meant to say busy, but it's probably to keep me quiet. Um, it's a bit odd being down here on my own, but it won't be the last time, I'm sure. Uh, so I'll catch you later. Bye. Oh, the reason we've come down to early, I've come to obviously Kev's dropped me up on the way to work, is we've got the Wabasto man come in to commission the heating, um, which gets us uh, another two years warranty on it. So he's coming out, I don't know, n between nine and I can't remember whatever time, so it doesn't make any difference, I'm not going anywhere. So that's why I'm here. Um, so that'd be another job done and out of the way. So I'll catch you later. Bye. What day is <laughs> it, Tracy? As you can see, <laughs> it's Saturday. It's blooming freezing. And we have just been and bought our chimney to the top of the roof. Oh, there's me showing you the top of the roof. I don't know why I pointed it. <laughs> and a cowl thing that sits on top to stop the rain going in, which actually handy we bought that since it's now just started raining. It's, it looks a bit slushy, icy. I'm not sure whether it is. But we did get one job done, and that was this. We have a flue and a fireplace. We, we have just bought all the stuff. We bought the wood, the coal. We nearly forgot. But we have now bought the matches. <laughs> there are other brands available. <laughs> this, yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? We have now bought matches. <laughs> we nearly forgot, so we wouldn't have got anywhere. Um, told a few different ways to light it and the best way and keep it going because now people don't let their fires go out at all. They keep them going, they just about last through the night and then you come in, soak it all back up. Apparently it's so easy, blah, blah, blah. I've never lit a fire in my life. So we're about to light it because it's quite cold on here. We've got an electric heater, which is great. But you know what, men and fires, it's a caveman thing. 
So Kev oh. wants to <laughs> Kev, <laughs> Kev wants to um, light the fire today. It still needs repainting. I've still got to put the hot, well, whatever black, whichever blackening stuff we use. I've still got to paint the chimney and the fire, give the fire another coat. But hopefully it's all up and running. We've never done it, so we're going to try. So apparently smoke will come off the main body where we've given it one coat of paint. So we're ready for that. As you can see, I'll take you on a walk round. I have just done, we've just finished the steps. So they're the steps for the Kevin demonstrate. demonstrate. They're the steps. So we've just put, I've cut all these pieces to go on each tread. So it's a non-slip stuff. And it's stuck it's stuck down so well I don't think I could lift it back off now even if I wanted to not that I want to so that's they're ready to go back in um, all these edging bits we've given it another coat we've edged coated around the cupboards down that end and look the dark end doesn't look so dark the shelving Kev's made loads of shelving so that's all now had two coats so that's all to go under the gunnel and we have started on the bedroom. So it's now that. We've got new hinges to go on these, which we just bought. Um, got our blinds yet to go up. The edging strip along there has had two coats. That one's still got to have its second one. And um, windows are finished. Cupboard, hopefully what we're gonna do is have a mirror made to sit in this recess. So we'll have a full length mirror in here and the sockets, there's going to be a little corner TV, just a small TV up in that corner. We'll keep this for when Kev brings me coffee and toast and croissants in bed. Noted. <laughs> Do you reckon he got the hint? Toast and croissants. Toast, croissants, boiled eggs and salt, I don't mind what it is, but a cup of tea in bed would be lovely. We've bought some, these doors aren't great in fitting um there's hot you can see gaps you can feel the cold coming through you can see daylight up and through up and through there and all along there so we've bought um what have we bought uh, some in rubber sealant rubber seal stuff that you put in so hopefully i know we've got air coming through those but that's we're supposed to have that through the vents um we've still got edging strip to put down into that bit and then we'll probably We've got the steps still to go and back in down there. I'm just starting to paint the bed frame and then the drawers underneath because that's the colour that our bedroom was. All that, the whole boat was all that colour. So they've got to come out so I can paint those. Bed frame. And we might be ready to put a mattress in. Hurrah! And some bedding, <laughs> which means we can start staying over, which should be a bit easier. I know we haven't got a toilet, but there's a toilet block, just as I've said before, just over there. They've got showers. Um, we'll make do, but... We'll work on it as we're living on it, then. Well, we might be part-time living on it first. Because, look, as you can see, our spare room... Every place has a junk a room. A junk room, which you literally Agreed, can't... Agreed, we've got a lot of junk. You can't even get in there. And I'm sure the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> Let everybody see. Look, no shower. No sink. Well, there's a kitchen sink. There's some units. There is a bathroom sink somewhere on this boat that we bought. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too big. We've got to have a look at it yet. We need to do that before the guarantee runs out that we can take it back. So we need to do that. We've got to buy lighting. Uh, where else? I'm now fixing the fire in place before we light it. Kev's now just... What he's got to do is at the back of here... I don't know if you can see, there's two little bits sticking out. So, he's got to bolt them in. But to drill through the tiles and through the fireboard and everything, bolt the fire in, but part of the boat safety BSS, Boat Safety Certificate Scheme, whatever you want to call it. Um, Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Kev's doing at the moment. And then we will be lighting it. 
Then we're going to install the television, sit down, and come <laughs> Oh, yeah, look. Oh, dear, look. Look, we had a bargain. It was in the sale. <laughs> so we've got a TV and a bracket. So we'll have the fire on. <laughs> we'll have the fire on, the TV on, and we'll probably never ever finish the boat. As you can see, Barry bought us over, I don't know if you can see that, Barry bought us over our tea. So we're well away, we don't need a kitchen. <laughs> Jean yesterday came over and bought me tea and biscuits. I came over at seven o'clock in the morning um, because the dry dock was supposed to be coming. We couldn't get our heating. Wabasto heating commissioned by Wabasto because they don't like where the pipe work runs. So he said he wants it put on brackets in the engine bay, and I totally agree. Um, I thought it was a bit odd when I saw it. So a couple of weeks ago, the people that installed it said they'd come out, fit a bracket, still haven't been, but they were supposed to be coming yesterday, which was Friday. So got up at five, Kev dropped me over here. He went off to work. So I spent the whole day painting and I'd already been here Thursday all day painting. Um, and he never turned up, pain. Uh, so we've got to put an email together. A snotty email can go out tonight as to uh, where were you? We waited for you. Um, is that cold? It's going to be a snotty email anyhow. <laughs> it is quite cold on here. Uh, so that's where we're up to. So we've been here the last couple of days. Well, I've been here the last couple of days. Everybody's been great. I have my morning tea with Barry. That sounds wrong, but it's meant in a really good way. <laughs> And if I'm cold, Barry's all like, come on, the, come, come sit on our boat. So I go and warm up on, on Barry's boat. So or the, Chris's boat. The joke is... <laughs> don't be a hater. The joke is at the moment... Which... When I get back from work, I have to hunt around the marina to find out which boat she's sitting on. And I'm like that. I'm on the blue one. They're all blue. <laughs> so I'm not lying. So, look, I'll tell you now, it was... Chris, from a couple of boats down, kindly came down to ask how the heating thing had gone on, with blokes coming down to commission it. And I said, it didn't go very well. I said, they won't commission it at the moment. So, which was really nice of him. Kev was still at work and he said, oh, it's a bit cold on your boat. He said, I've got the fire running, so I'll make you a cuppa while you're waiting for Kev, which was really nice of him. So Kev rang me. Uh, as I was sat having my cup of tea, all nice and cosy. And he said, where are you? So I said to him, well, where are you? He said, I'm on our boat. He said, where are you? I said, well, I'm on Chris's boat. <laughs> and then the next day Kev came over, I was on Barry's boat. <laughs> so, uh... Tracy on tour. <laughs> Marina tour, 2018. The Marina tour. I should take this everywhere I go. Um, everybody's been so good. I've got to say, everybody's been so good. And then... Uh, Chris shouted out, Kev, I'll put the kettle on and make another cup of so Kev come down and had a cup of down in his boat. So that was really nice. And then yesterday I got cold and Barry said, Oh, come over and we will um he said, I've just lit my fire. He said, warm up. So we've done that and then we went home late last night. So we'll catch you in a bit when we put the